Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve quadratic equations for a radical. Now, as you know with a quadratic equation, it's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. That's the form of a quadratic equation. Now, the thing is, though, if you have radicals involved, um, the radicals probably shouldn't really appear where the x's are. So where you might get it is where in the coefficients. So for example, if you have something like, um, let's just say 3x squared plus square root of uh, 5x plus 6 equals to 0, what you might contend with sometimes is being able to use the quadratic formula to solve it, because as you can tell it's not really factorable, but being able to use these radicals in the quadratic formula. Now as a friendly reminder, you know, it's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now where you incorporate these radicals is just plug them in where they belong. So you know a is 3, b is square root of 5, and c is equal to 6. And all you need to do is plug them in. So negative b is negative square root of 5, plus or minus square root of square root of 5 squared, minus 4 times a is 3, c is 6, over 2 times 3. And what all it is now is just strictly algebra. You have negative square root of 5, plus or minus. Now square root of 5 squared is actually 5, minus 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 6 is 72, over 6. And so you have negative square root of 5, plus or minus square root of negative 67, over 6. Now, as you might imagine, if you have a negative number underneath the square root, it's complex. So this would be negative square root of 5, plus or minus i square root of 67 over 6. So where you might use the quadratic formula involving radicals could be in the coefficients, but um, just keep in mind that when you solve it, you just follow it the same way as you would the quadratic formula. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a demonstration on how to solve quadratic equations with a radical.